Okay, now I want to look at doing profiles. Now, profiles are the thing you'll do most commonly in the disaster. We have various types, a round over bit, an orgy bit, a bell housing, a chamfer bit. Just gives you a 45. The bull nose. Now, the bull nose is good for if you want to make like big dowels. I've got various sizes of this, you can make various sizes of dowels. But also, as I'll show you later, it can be made into a form of jointing system and all, which you may not have seen before. I'll show you that later. But for now, I just want to cover the setting up when using a moulding bit. Again, put it into your collet and let it come back up a little bit. Tightened up. Right, now this one has a bearing. So we will be firstly doing it with the bearing, uh, without the bearing, so we neutralise the bearing with the fence, and then we'll do it without a fence, just to show you how simple it is. The bit being that curved shape, if you want this shank at the bottom, you can have that as well, or do away with it and have it just the curvature, so you're just getting the quarter round. And that is only giving us 13 and a half mil. So we're not taking all the depth of the piece, but we'll round it over nicely to give us a good quarter round. Okay, so we'll leave it there, lock this off, then bringing forward a bit fence, we need now to keep in this central, because these things can move if you've got this kind of setup. We need to open the jaws to allow for that bit. So that bit is obviously a lot bigger than the last one we used. And then, and then we need to neutralise that bearing. How do we do that? We put this or anything flat onto the bearing and bring this bolt to it. And see if we're just getting the wheel to turn. The wheel is just turning there. And lock it off at that. If you're going to use the mitre gauge, then you need to be calibrating. I haven't done. So these are not correct. So I do not want to use the, the, the mitre gauge on this job. Okay, that is set, that's locked, they're locked, this is locked. Everything is now set, we're comfortable. If you want now, you can put in a feather board, which will help you hold it back. Or try it freehand. I'm going to do it freehand first, so we'll just leave it at that as it is. I'm going to raise it up to give us a full 18 mil so that it will give us that shoulder. Right, that's good, is that? Just under the top, just under. And what that does is it will stop the top giving me a line here as well, which I don't want. I want a line at the bottom. So I'll now get one. So I'll put that one to one side for a minute and we can compare them. Get them all. Okay, let's get ourselves set up. So as you see, from the same bit, there's the two profiles we'll get. And all we had to do was change the height of it. So, interesting shapes. Right, the next thing we want to do, take that away, lower that back down, and imagine we're routering something that is either curved or an unusual type of shape that we've got. So we're going to use the bearing. We're also going to use support pin. There. I 
and there you have the profile I've just done freehand and the one I did before. Yeah, quite an interesting shape. Okay, and lastly, let's just finish off by actually doing a shape. Um, a circle I cut on the bandsaw, circle cutting jig, just a test. Let's run this through and see how simple that is. over you got on that because I reduced this down so that we could get the bearing in the top of that took away most of the curvature for that I would normally go for a smaller round over bit okay right well I think that's the end of this one I hope that's um, enlightened you to the basic um, performancing of the round station what it can do in basic because we're going to scratch the surface um, and what you can get out of it, I mean just one bit and you can get some very interesting shapes out of them um, and levelling off, making grooves, boxes, picture frames, backs on drawers, uh, bottoms on drawers, backs on cupboards all these sort of things, very simple to do with these and that's moulding for real, so do I need it okay right, well next time We'll make a start with some interesting joints, all kinds of joints. So let's wait for that one. That'll be coming up very soon. Okay, right, well, once again, if you liked what you've seen, shove a like in the box, do a bit of sponsoring for me. Um, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.